Russian President Vladimir Putin has taken strong steps to resurrect the Russian military, but things are not going as per plan. High winds from Typhoon Maysak caused a floating dry dock to break free. This happened in Russia's Vostochny Verf shipyard in the country's far eastern port of Vladivostok. After this, it drifted into a number of warships and submarines belonging to the Russian Navy's Pacific Fleet, causing massive damage. Viewers may note that Maysak has been moving north for days now, passing over both Japan and the Korean Peninsula. It has been getting stronger and stronger and had built up enough power to produce gusts of wind in excess of 100 miles per hour. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Russian military has suffered major damages because of Typhoon Maysak. Let us get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It is easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The images on social media indicate that several collisions, including one with a cluster of Project 1241.1 Molnia class missile corvettes, took place. Viewers may note that these ships have a displacement of 550 tons when fully loaded and can carry up to 16 KH 35 Uran anti ship cruise missiles as their primary armament. The Russian Navy's Pacific Fleet has about 11 of these ships. A Kilo class attack submarine was also reportedly struck as the dock went floating along. The Russian Pacific Fleet has six of these submarines. It is not clear exactly how strong the storm's winds were when it reached Vladivostok, but it must have been pretty strong. The damage could have been more if the dry dock had any ship or submarine inside it at the time. No loss of life is reported. This is not the first time Russians are facing this kind of issue. Even the flagship of the Russian Navy, Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier, has suffered major incidents and is out of service. On the 30th of October 2018, Admiral Kuznetsov suffered a major mishap while undergoing overhaul work at a dockyard in Roslyakovo near Murmansk. The aircraft carrier nearly sank. The Kuznetsov was stationed inside floating dock PD-50. The dock capable of handling vessels up to 80,000 tons is the biggest one Russia had and one of the largest in the world. On the 30th of October, the dock's tank started to take in water and led to the tilting of the dock on one side. One of the PD-50's two cranes, which are 70 tons each, fell on the deck of the Kuznetsov. This resulted in a hole of 4 by 5 meters. The second crane also got imbalanced and, as per some reports, fell in the sea. Somehow, PD-50 did not capsize and as the water filled the dock, Kuznetsov floated and was tugged out. In about four hours, PD-50 went down and sank. The disaster could have been even more catastrophic if Kuznetsov was not moved out. The carrier was being repaired in Russia's Arctic port in Murmansk, also known as the Barents Seaport. This is where a new accident took place. On December 12, 2019, a fire broke out during welding work to repair an electrical compartment on the ship's lower deck, where several cables caught fire. The fire spread to roughly 600 square meters or 6,458 square feet, and several repair personnel suffered injuries. Admiral Kuznetsov may no longer be operational again. 
an assessment by the Russian Navy's Northern Fleet estimates the damage at 95 billion rubles, over 1.5 billion US dollars. The repair cost is almost as much as the current value of the warship. Though the latest incident has local implications, others may result in something more dangerous. An official state of mourning was declared in the Russian city of Sarov in August of last year. This comes after five elite Russian scientists were killed in an accident. As per Rosatom, the explosion occurred while the engineers were testing a nuclear isotope power source for a rocket engine. The company revealed that the victims were on a sea platform testing the rocket engine and were thrown into the sea by the impact of the explosion. It's interesting to note that Sarov is also known during the Cold War as Arzamis 16 and is one of Russia's secret cities. The city is closed to foreigners and accessible only by special permit. Some experts state that it's the equivalent of Los Alamos, New Mexico, which is recognized as the development and creation place of the atomic bomb, the primary objective of the Manhattan Project. The radiation level in the city spiked after the incident, though as per Russian sources, it's not hazardous for health. Experts had linked the explosion to Berevsnik nuclear-powered cruise missile, which is also designated as SSC X-9 Skyfall by NATO. Some other analysts had pointed fingers at Poseidon, a nuclear-powered, nuclear-capable torpedo. It's not that only Russians are having issues with these accidents. Recently, USS Bonham Richard LHD-6 suffered a major accident in July. Viewers may note that the ship burned for three days while it was tied to the pier at Naval Base San Diego. Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Michael Gilday later told Navy leaders that 11 of the ship's 14 decks had been damaged and the ship's island was nearly gutted. The Navy's not yet revealed if the Bonham Richard is deemed too damaged to save. USS Bonham Richard is a WASP-class amphibious assault ship of the United States Navy, commissioned in 1998, as the sixth ship of her class. The primary mission of Bonham Richard is to embark, deploy, and land elements of a marine landing force in amphibious assault operations by helicopter, landing craft, and amphibious vehicle and, if needed, to act as a light aircraft carrier. There is also an investigation going on to ascertain if the fire that struck the amphibious assault ship was intentionally set. But the frequency of incidents with the Russian military is particularly troublesome. International sanctions and a lackluster domestic economy have forced Russia to make cuts to its defense budget. For example, in May 2018, the Kremlin had announced a new round of budget cuts, slashing annual defense spending by almost 20% from the previous year. These seem to be impacting safety procedures and leading to this kind of problem. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.